G'day. In this video, I'll be going through how to actually source down sounds off the internet that are free to use. Usually you would have to credit during, due to licensing and also to how to import those into your game. So one of the main places that you can actually search for music, art, 3D animations, etc., is on a website called Open Game Art. There is the ever popular browser of Google and Google, you could pretty much search anything. So let's just say free music. However, the problem with searching Google is you will find a lot of restrictions on that. You might have to purchase it or it isn't royalty free and there's a lot of different issues with it. So you need to be familiar with uh, Creative Commons licensing or licensing in general and copyright law. However, the majority of things on the opengameart.org website are actually free to use as long as you credit the person that's developed it. However, you do need to read each licensing on anything that you use. So to use this website, you actually all you need to do is select browse and because I'm after music, I'm going to just click music. From here, it will load a whole heap of different sounds and for that I can use within my game. And let's just trial some just quickly. When you click play, they don't load straight away. Just give it a second. Okay, that's not quite what I'm after, so I'll try something else. Let's try Ruth and Andy. No, that's not quite right. Let's try this one. Uh, I could come back to that later because it is for a boss if I wanted to. Let's try Crystal Cave. Okay, that could actually be usable. So I'm just going to click on that one. It's going to take me to that specific page. And the very first thing that we actually need to do is just to have a quick read through everything along here. Now you'll actually see that the attribution instructions uh, we need to credit pixelsphere.org slash the cynic project and please link to the website and notify me if you use the music. So that's what we actually need to do if we use that music. So that will actually be needing to be placed into the game in the credit section. And obviously you'll also need to notify the developer. So I'm going to click that one. It's going to ask me to save it, hopefully. Here we go. And I'm actually just going to go save. And I'm not sure where that's saved to, so let's just do that one again and just save it to the desktop. So save as. Just to the desktop. And it's called Song 18. Let's rename that straight away Crystal Cave Open Game Art. And the reason why I call it Open Game Art is because then I can know to come back to it. The other thing I should be doing is actually taking the name and all the details here so I can actually go through and comment and credit him later. The other thing is, is if you need to check out what the licenses are, you can see them on the left and just click them and you'll be able to find it. Now to bring that into our game, we're actually going to go back to our audio folder under music and inside music we're going to right click import new asset and you can actually see on the desktop you can see Crystal Cave Open Game Art. That's the song that we want. So we're going to import. Now it will take a while to import. The WMA file from a previous video was short because it was a very short audio clip. This one's a little bit longer. Once that's imported, we can actually see that there. We can hit play and just make sure it's the right one. And that does sound to be the right the one that you wanted. Now, before we continue and actually uh, put it into a the game, we're actually going to make the trigger go off and use a whole heap of different components that we've learned over the course of these videos to see exactly how we go at bringing this in and playing it on cue. So I'm going to stop the video there. If you've got any questions in regards to what we've done so far, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments or in Edmodo or in person. I'm always happy to ask answer your questions. Thank you.